Welcome back to the channel everybody. This is Randy Ragamuffin Piper. A little cool and somewhat blustery here in the 100 acre woods today. But I uh, started a video yesterday that got interrupted by little mother nature. So this is a two for one today. And uh, if you can't stay around for the whole video, you might want to skip the nature part of it because I thought I would include that. It's kind of funny. And uh, so just take a minute through the nature part, through the, through the storm, and uh, maybe do some, grab a pipe, some coffee or some hot tea and enjoy. And then at the end, where I hope you can stick around, I've got some thoughts about weather in that storm. So I hope you'll join me all the way through or skip to the end and join me again there. So let's move on to yesterday's video that never made it <laughs> to the light of day. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody. I thought I would give you an idea of what it's like to be outside wanting to shoot some video and well when you live in the country <laughs> my neighbor has his own target practice area. <laughs> so maybe today I just shoot some scenery and you can enjoy that. Put on a nice song and grab your pipe. Do something to relax. Might be a storm coming. Catch up with you soon.
Hey, before we jump into the end of the video where I had something I wanted to share with you, got my rat tray out today. If you guys don't have a rat tray pipe, they are great. They are a great pipe. I'm not saying that every model of a rat tray is perfect, but I think the two or three that I have, they're some of my favorites. They burn good. Um, uh, they're just fabulous pipes and inside there I've got uh, what is the leaf du jour today um, I almost forgot <laughs> nope it's walnut maple walnut maple by Sutliff and uh, this is uh, this is a blend that is a crowd pleaser. It has uh, has a great room note. It's a great slow burning leaf. Very enjoyable. So uh, let's get to that other thing I wanted to talk about real real quick, like at the end of this video. We won't make it too long. Thanks for sticking around. Here we go. So it's real easy to be fearful in times of a uh, big storm, you know, and they happen all over the country and all over the world. And a lot of people have a lot of fear and it grips them. And uh, you know, that can happen over anything in life, jobs, marriage, relationship. Fear is a, is a tough thing. It's hard to be a productive person if you're just gripped with it all the time. There's a popular phrase out there or line that you hear a lot that uh, says fear is mentioned in the Bible 365 times. Now I know that there's people that would like to debate that and I'm not here to tell you that it is or it isn't. It's mentioned a lot. How's that? <laughs> Probably depends on your translation I imagine. But here's my thinking. It's mentioned enough times where it's important. It's important to know that, you know, God doesn't want us to fear in life. He doesn't want us to fear the storm. He doesn't want us to fear the tragedies or the rough times in life because we're supposed to lean on him. You know, my dad, uh, he was in the Pacific Theater during World War II and he didn't talk about his time in the Navy much at the time I wouldn't say that he was you know very outspoken as a Christian he uh, which is odd it's very yeah, it's very foreign of thinking for me to say that he wasn't because by the time I knew him he was one of the wisest you know Christian men that I had ever met he wasn't super outspoken just kind and uh, generous and wise and his faith was very important to him. But he did tell me a few times and some stories. My dad was a pilot for the landing barges, the same ones that hit the D-Day beaches in Omaha and all that. So they were planning that invasion for Japan in the Pacific Theater. And he would work with the Marines and they would practice those types of landings and they knew the odds because, you know, <laughs> it was well known about uh, uh, what happened in Europe. And he did a few drops in the Philippines and uh, they actually had a lot of active duty there at a few times. And one thing he told me, he says, you know, when you've got, uh, when you've got a big group of men in that boat and you're headed to the beach, and you don't know what you're gonna meet at the beach, you're a kind of unsure. <laughs> Heck, some of those guys would panic just getting out of the boat if it was, if it was on a peaceful beach. <laughs> he said, uh, you know the old saying of there's no uh, atheists in foxholes? Well, there's not very many atheists in them 
in them landing boats headed to the beach neither. <laughs> he said, boy, I've, I knew a lot of men that found religion real quick when they were sitting in that boat being splashed by the cold water. And they didn't know what was, they didn't really know what was coming, what was going to meet them. And I think that goes back to what we're talking about, fear. You know, we had a big storm. That was a microburst that came through, lots of uh, thunder, lots of lightning, hundreds of strikes. My yard looks like a, a, a tropical storm went through here. <laughs> it stirred up pretty good. But all that to say, in the, in the times of life that really, you know, can grip us with fear, I think God's biggest intention was to give us peace. And it isn't, so, it isn't something that sometimes comes just like an automatic, oh, I have peace, isn't it great, you know? No. It's just something that you grasp. It's like going home to mom and dad's house, you know, knowing that everybody accepts you there and it's going to be a, it's going to be okay if, as long as you're there having a cup of coffee with mom and dad. Yeah, I miss that. The comfort of home. That is, that's the peace that God was talking about. Do not fear. I don't really care how many times it says it in the Bible, whether it's 25 times or 250 times or <laughs> 2,000 times. seems like it was important enough to make an emphasis on yeah don't worry about it seemed like he was telling us I've got this so we had some fun with a big storm <laughs> and the wind was blowing and I got trees down in the in the forest and uh, and all is okay so if you're going through it today, and you've got your own storm brewing, I only have three words for you. Do not fear. Hey, and if you're struggling with that and you need, uh, ooh, trees out here. You need some, you need some reassurance. You put a comment in there or you grab my email out of the description of the channel. Send me an email. I don't say it often enough anymore, but I'd be glad to pray for you. Let you know that you are not alone. No, we weren't meant to do this alone. This thing called life. I'm really happy that you joined me. I'm glad that you stayed to the end. And if you did, <laughs> well, kudos to you. We'll see you soon. This is Randy, Ragamuffin Piper. Have a great day and make it the best one yet. I intend to do just that.